Okay, it's Jessica Namasa with WTF Health. What's the future health? I am talking to the who's who of health tech and healthcare innovation. And today, checking in with an old friend, Zane Burke, the CEO of Quantum Health. Zane, how are you? I'm good, Jess. How are you doing? Good. It's so good to catch up with you here at Vive. I feel like you and I haven't seen each other since the Livongo days. That's right. It's been a little while. It's been a while. So what are you up to over there at Quantum Health? Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? I know you guys are a navigator, but like, give me the whole business story here and, and tell me what you're doing. Well, I, I'm passionate about great consumer experiences. And so we have net promoter scores in the mid 70s, awesome. uh, both for clients, members, and providers. Okay. So kind of the only navigation company that's touching all the three legs of the stool and having great satisfaction. And not just the satisfaction part, it's also the hard ROI. So two and a half one to one on our ROI and delivering a ton of value. And so I'm just having a lot of fun. That's good. And so you guys work mostly with large self-insured employers, is that right? Can you name drop some for us? Sure. I'd uh, love to name drop. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, Dish. <laughs> Dish. So like NetJets, Honda, uh, you know, number of very, very large clients that are part of our 2 million plus members. All right, and the care navigator space, I feel like is one of those spaces where it's like there's a lot going on right now. And I think in the last couple of years, we've seen like a couple of different flavors start to emerge among like these leading like um, care navigation companies. So like Accolade started to do primary care and differentiate on that. Included Health is, is bringing a more included experience to the whole healthcare navigation thing with, with some acquisitions there. Um, and then you've got a company like Rightway, which is carried up care navigation with a next gen PBM. So what's the secret sauce, special flavor that that's happening in care navigation at Quantum Health? Well, Quantum was actually the pioneer in this space. So okay. we were the original navigation organization. And, and what we're doing differently is using artificial intelligence every step of the way to look for the signposts of when is somebody about to have a healthcare event that's gone, gone awry. And, and in our model, before a claimant has spent $1,000 on a $10,000 or more journey, 90% of the time, we've seen that, we've already engaged with that client, that member beforehand. Okay. And so what we're doing is really using artificial intelligence in a different way. Super We go to the super complex side of life um, where others are going more on just the pure digital side. So ours has the all the technology, but then has the human touch at the end of the day and touching all three of those constituents to c create better outcomes and a better experience in healthcare. All right, cool. So, t I mean, tell me too a little bit about some of the success here for employers. Like, you know, I mean, I, like the cost savings is probably a big deal. So, give me a little bit of a, an insight on how you guys are helping employers. So, across our entire book of business, no, so not just to cherry pick a, a client or two along the way, we get a two and a half to one return on our on our, our entire book of business. And so, we're working with those best clients uh, to really make a difference in the journey for uh, whether it's retention whether it's uh, the ROI piece, whether it's the clinical outcomes, it's having a great experience. That's what we're really about. That's what we're really working towards. And where we're different is some of our competitors are moving more towards this continuum of care and what I would say more the com commodities of care, which okay. is the you know telehealth and, and some of those spaces, which is a great convenience, but not really great as it relates to really complex care, which mm -hmm. is where most of the money is spent. Right. So the money is spent in the complex side of life. And that's where we swim towards. Okay. So we are spending more time on the complex side. And in fact, this last week, we just announced our ecosystem, our preferred ecosystem, uh, where we will actually pre-negotiate all the contracts with the major digital health providers uh, on behalf of our clients, because we know the data. We actually know, like in my past life, yeah, Levongo, I was gonna say. <laughs> we actually know which, cl which members will benefit from having a, a solution. We know what the engagement is. We know how to get people back on track. And our engagement's really super unique. So we get 85% engagement, oh, wow. which is unheard of yeah. in the space, as you know. What do you think it is about your the way that you approach patients that makes them engage so highly? It, it, part of it's our model. Okay. So you have to engage with us to from a benefits must. process. <laughs> you must. Um, your, the, your card no, calls us, first and foremost. Okay. If you're a physician, you call us. If you want to get reimbursed, you're going to happen. That, that puts us in the life flow of both the clinicians and the members themselves. Got it. And so meeting people in their life flow makes all the difference in terms of how to make it a, a positive impact at the time that they're entering the care system. That makes a lot of sense. And that takes out the, you have to, you have to call the health plan piece of it, right? It, it does. And nobody wants to have their care management person call them at dinner time. No. And they're <laughs> not going to answer the phone. Right. And they don't want to be handed off to some other department. What happens in our world is we have a team that's focused on you in that journey and that team is self-contained and they don't they are are there handling that engagement with the member each and every time and having a great outcomes 
All right, employers, I've got to ask you this. You've been, I mean, obviously that's your that's your client base. They have been put through the ringer the last couple of years, right? And so what's changing? Is there anything that you've noticed that's changing in the way that they're looking at their health benefits or the way they're working with a company like yours? Yeah, there's many things. Uh, clearly the labor, labor market's tough. Yeah. Uh, and uh, HR departments have been absolutely inundated with all sorts of different things. But what we're seeing is, uh, Benefits for retention make a big difference, so that's like navigation makes a, makes a difference. Costs are going up, so costs for healthcare are going up dramatically, and so they're looking. Client members or clients are looking for organizations and things that can help save money, and we save money and we create better experiences. So it's a perfect time. So we're seeing some of the, I would say, some of the tailwinds in in this space. Uh, which is probably why you're hearing a lot about navigation companies. Yeah, I think so. All right, I have to ask you another question from a past, past life. Not the past life, not the Livongo life, but the Cerner life. I, I, can I pick your brain about EMR for a I'd second? Love it. Okay, good. All right, cool. So, I mean, I feel like lately I'm watching this space emerge where it seems like there is this new, like, IT infrastructure being built alongside the EMR that will one day maybe replace it. Am I like crazy in seeing this? Are you seeing this too? I mean, what do you think is happening with those EMR companies, the legacy companies, Cerner, Epic, Allscripts, Athena, those companies that have, have the pipes that are laid, like are we moving away from that with some of these new tech entrants? Or is it like they'll never go away because there's just been too much money invested in? What do you think? I, well. It's very clear there's something going on. Uh, so Allscripts divesting most of their business last week, their EMR business last week. Cerner's acquisition by Oracle, uh, Athena's transactions, yeah, right? uh, and and then you you still have Epic that's that's private and doing their own thing, but without really clarity on where that ends up from a journey perspective on that company. So I look at it in a couple ways. There's probably opportunities for entrance off the forest floor to become that new EM EMR, or you know I'd say probably and there are other entries that are gonna use that plumbing and create different transaction layers by which people will really inter engage and create more modern systems like the commuters of the world. Okay, so I'm not nuts saying. You're not nuts. All right, well, thank you. Well, I mean, not for this. Not, not for this. <laughs> not for <laughs> this, awesome. Well, thank you so much. It's good to chat with you. I love to hear, like, you've had such a great career. I mean, it's just so interesting. And EMR, and then really at like, the forefront of digital health with Livongo, which is like seen as like the, the company that created that category and now here you are doing navigation it's awesome well it's a lot of fun and we're still trying to create a better experience but i appreciate your interest in the story uh, thank you uh, always a pleasure to talk to you we'll talk to you soon yeah i love it all right zane burke everybody the ceo of quantum health thanks so much for joining us i'm jessica damasa and for more interviews with the who's who of health tech as they are changing the way that we do healthcare, head on over to my youtube channel youtube.com slash wtf health we'll talk to you soon thanks